we have already installed WordPress and now we are going to see the different sections. So before we get into that, let us try to understand one thing. When you install a content management system, it will have basically two parts. One is the public facing part, which everyone is going to see who visits your website. So like when someone visits my website, they are going to see this content, right? Like there is a page written over here. Hello world. The person could click, come here, give the comments, etc. So this is our public facing part. Another part is the administrative part, which we briefly saw after we had installed WordPress. That is the administrative part from where once you log in, you can manage your WordPress websites, manage these posts and so many other things. So the public facing part is simple. Whatever design interface and other things that you will manage will be shown to people who are visiting your WordPress based website or any other content management uh, based website now next thing what we need to do is when we have to manage our wordpress website we need to log in into this website and how do we log in into a wordpress website so go to your website wherever it is and over there you can either say wp dash login or wp login dot php right this will give you the login page over here whatever is your username and other things administrative username registered provide that and login Okay, so now we will log in with our username and password, which we had set during the installation. And here we log in. So now what you see is our dashboard or the administrative interface. This is the administrative interface from where we can manage our WordPress based website. So let's have a look at the different things that we can do and on one more tab I will open the website. So if I go to visit website, this is how our website will look to the public. That's what I mentioned. So here, these are the different sections on the left hand side which you can use for managing your website. Now dashboard is which you can customize with your daily required features and all. This we will discuss in further upcoming sessions posts so wordpress basically is a blogging engine as i said from where you can create your posts so posts are the primary thing that we create with wordpress so if you want to manage your posts this those will be managed from here or if you want to add a new post you can add a new post from here okay it has some kind of inbuilt uh, new editor which we will discuss again later on then there are categories and tags so categories and tags are basically a mechanism with which you can classify or categorize your posts and tags are the keywords that could be associated with a post fine so like if you are writing a post which is for content management systems so uh, the post we can create a category called as content management system and put our post in that categories and now tags would be the specialized keywords which define the main content of your post or some keywords which basically associate with the post important keywords then media is a location from where you can manage your media you can upload uh, images media and other things and store it over here and then you can easily use them in the different sections wherever you like so similar to posts there is something called as pages these are kind of static pages or some basic pages that you may want to create when you are using wordpress as your website these will be the pages which will have fixed information like let us say uh, about us contact us some addresses provided 
and so many other things so some fixed pages which are not going to change usually you will see on websites there are some common pages those are to be created with pages the primary thing is posts are automatically shown uh, on the wordpress blog one after the another automatically what you see over here this comes up over here this is your post any new post that will be added will automatically show up over here and here this is a sample page which is already created so you can see that this is a sample page this is a fixed information which is being shown over here okay so that's the basic difference between pages and posts so you can add new pages and manage your pages from this particular location then comments now when you will be posting uh, your or creating your wordpress posts you may want people to comment on that discussions can take place and all so all the comments can be managed from here in real life situation you will obviously come across spam comments bad comments or some comments which you don't want to publish so you may want to manage them from here appearance is basically talking about themes themes basically define how your website looks color feel and so many other things so there are some inbuilt themes one is running this is from where you can manage your themes there is a inbuilt theme editor also but we'll uh, we'll avoid that right now then you have something called as plugins plugins or extra modules these enhance the functionality of wordpress so if you look at wordpress right now it is basically a simple blog engine but if you need more functionality added to it then we can add more plugins to this and enhance the functionality of our wordpress system itself so later on we'll add some plugins and see how to manage and utilize plugins those will be managed from this section now users now when it comes to users wordpress there can be multiple users visiting our website or rather i would say using our uh, wordpress system so we can have different kind of users over here who can have these different kind of roles where every role provides a different kind of functionality out of which administrator role is what we have right now editor is a person who can create edit modify the posts and all and so on so these are you can see this is the highest lower 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 and so on and they have maximum lesser 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 and other functionality so you may want uh, if you are using wordpress for a collaborative blog or something then in that case you may want to create new users and assign them roles of editor or author or contributor something like that based on the basic functionality they want you don't want everyone to be administrator and uh, make changes to your website so from this is the location from where you can add and manage users then we have the tools section where it ha has multiple different tools you can see there is some category and tag converters you have the import and export functionality you could import and export your wordpress predefined installations and so many other things from here you can export your existing wordpress content to some file fine this is a good way to save your wordpress work post pages that you have created we will see the backup and recovery of wordpress later on in some other session then there is site health this is automated test and other things which can be checked from here then export personal data erase personal data theme file editor plugin file editor and so many other management tools are provided over here then finally we come here to settings which has lot of different settings regarding our wordpress installation so this is the name of our website demo you may want to change it you can change it from here then you can provide a tagline so tagline could be kind of a punch line for your website where you can say learning this can be fun. some kind of punch line or 
WordPress can be fun. This could be good enough. URL and site URL and other things. These are based on if you have uh, placed your Word, WordPress in a separate location and other things. So we'll leave them as it is. The administrator's email ID, the one which we created initially. Now here, this is about membership. Anyone can register. If you want people to register to your website by default, you have to enable this. Initially, I would not suggest it until your website is completely set up and all. Then you can decide whether you want people to register or not and what would be the default role. You can provide any of these default roles as per your understanding, but do not provide administrator. This can be dangerous. Fine. So once we have discussed in some upcoming sessions, what are the different functionalities that one can get from these roles, then you can take a decision. What should be the default role site language by default right now it is set to United States English. You can set it to some other language time zone. Now this is very interesting since you will be publishing your posts and uh, these posts could relate to your time zone. So like right now, if I'm in India, I would want to set the time zone to UTC plus 530. That is the, the time zone what I am located in fine. This way my posts will show up properly. in the Indian time with respect to Indian time zone. What should be the date format, how it is to be displayed, you can select it from here or you can create your own. This is based on uh, the PHP settings. You need to know uh, the date function in PHP, how it formats and you can set it from here. Similarly, there is a time format which you can set and when your week starts. So week starts on Monday. So these are the generic settings and we can save this changes. Fine. So our changes are saved. Next is setting is about writing. So when you are creating posts or something, it says default post category, default post format. There are different formats. We'll discuss about these also later on. So you can set these two things. So by default, uh, any post that will be created will go to uncategorized. Now, if you would have created a category, we can set it over here. This is interesting. If you are writing posts commonly which will belong to a particular category then you can select the default category from here otherwise you will have to manually do this then we have reading what should your home page so so this is basically when someone comes to our website directly by specifying the website's name what it should show so if you are using wordpress as a blog engine where you are putting your posts obviously you would want to show your latest post or you if you want to have a fixed page you can select a static page which i discussed about pages we'll have to create a page and set that page right and what would be the home page what would be the posts page we will have to select so if someone wants to uh, visit the post page they can go there how many blog entries should show up this is 10. You can set it to whatever is your understanding. Then syndication feed is there for each post in feed what is to be included and so many other things. Again, we'll be discussing these things later on as and when we start working. Discussions is basically relating to your comments. So Default post settings, it says attempt to notify any blog link to this post. If someone links to our post, we'll get some information and other things are there. Other comment settings are there. Comment author must fill out the name and email ID. So at least we know who has put the comment. Users must be registered and logged in. So if it is a closed blog or you want authentic comments, you would want users to log in and then only give the comment. Automatically close comments on posts older than 14 days. Okay, so we don't want everyone commenting every now and then. So once the post is older than 14 days, we can enable this if you want. And some other settings are here relating to comments. Fine. So again, we'll get into the details of this comment part discussion settings later on when we would want to set this as per our requirement then there are some settings relating to media that when you upload some media image or something what should be the size of thumbnail what should be the medium size of image and 
so on fine and here it says organize my uploads into month and year based folders so when someone uploads it it will be stored in some let us say february 2023 or something like that in those folders so this is how there then there is something relating to permalink basically how a link to your web page looks or when you create a post how it should look so here it shows it will be in this particular manner or it should be in this particular manner or whatever manner you would want you can set it over there right now it is set to some kind of custom structure where it is index.php post will be shown as the year month and so on so like when we go to this particular hello world if you look at the url it shows index.php 2023 and whatever date and other things are there associated this link will be created in that particular manner now there are certain settings uh, in that uh, real server you will not actually get to see the index.php over here it will be directly 2023 and so on it, it may not come like this so don't worry about that okay and finally there is about privacy some privacy settings are there okay fine you can create a privacy policy page and other things from here so this is the basic interface of our wordpress and in the next video onwards we will see how to create uh, the basic posts and then we'll discuss about pages and continue our sessions further